The one default setting that ruins 3D printed springs, plastic walls. You see, most springs need relatively thin walls to allow for flexibility. Unfortunately, most slicers have a preferred line width, and if those spring arms are an exact multiple of that width, the slicer can generate infill instead of walls, follow inconsistent paths, or even leave gaps in the walls. One solution is to adjust your line width to a multiple of the spring thickness, and while this can work, it requires a lot more planning and the spring arms can't have any variations. Fortunately, there's an easier solution, changing the wall generator from Classic to Arachne. While Classic walls follow the methods mentioned before, Arachne walls simply adjust the layer thickness on the fly using a mysterious algorithm rumored to be powered by dark energy. This makes the lines continue on a path in the direction of the bend instead of randomly leaving joints or gaps, all while completely filling the entire thickness of the walls in the most important areas. When using PLA as a demonstration material, the strength difference is pretty dramatic. And if you use a flexible material like PETG, it can last a very long time. You can try out these springs on our latest Starship pen catcher or download some sample springs for free on our public Patreon listing under CK 3D Prints. And in part two, I'll show you a couple design tips when choosing the shape of your spring to make it even more reliable, especially when you don't use